There are a bunch of ways to go about cutting metal, whether you're using snips, saws, grinders, or a variety of other tools. A common go-to for customers is the Milwaukee M18 shears, but you really shouldn't sleep on this snibbler from Milwaukee either. But let me back up and explain what these tools do exactly. We know they both cut through sheet metal, but how exactly they do it is a bit different. Nibblers, if you couldn't tell from the name, sort of nibble through the metal, almost like a weird robot rat. You won't get a fine line from nibblers because of this, but they're great for cutting curves, patterns, cutouts, or small channels in your pieces. If you do metalworking for custom work, like auto body for example, you do best with a nibbler. Nibblers use a punch and die assembly for cutting metal, which will typically mean you can change the orientation of the cutter itself. This allows for easier cuts around corners or curves, and especially in corrugated sheet metal. One of the downsides to using a nibbler is the mess it makes as you go. You'll want to pay close attention to cleanup when you're using the nibbler. Those metal shavings are sharp enough to cut and can even damage machinery and equipment if they manage to find their way in there. Shears, on the other hand, are a different story. You'll come across two different types of shears in this industry, single cut shears and double cut shears. You can think of single cut shears as a really big, powerful pair of scissors. One blade is constantly in motion while you're cutting, striking the metal and passing through to a stationary blade, which is called the anvil blade. Single cut shears are also capable of the heaviest workloads, You'll be able to get the nice smooth curve that you can get with the nibbler using a pair of single cut shears, but you'll also need to leave a wider arc to get there. Now, the double cut shears use two separate cutters to achieve their cuts. You know, like the name, double cut. These shears remove a thin strip of metal rather than the smaller chips of the nibbler. So while you're getting plenty of waste using these things, the strips are a lot easier to clean up at the end of the day than tiny little metal shavings. So you can get a nice trade off there. This type of cutter also leads to minimal distortion in the metal you're working with as long as you hold the tool straight. You won't be able to get the curves like you can with the single cut shears or the nibblers. At the end of the day, it's really down to what applications you'll be using your metal cutter for and how intense the job will be. For instance, if you're cutting through metal siding all day, please get some shears, don't torture yourself. But if you're doing something more on the custom side and need to make all kinds of curves, the nibbler is the way to go hands down. I hope this helped a little bit. If I missed anything or you have any questions, let us know and we're always happy to help. If you have any other questions, leave us a comment or give us a call or send us an email or write us a letter. Whatever you prefer, just get a hold of us and we'll help you out. If you're looking for even more content from us, subscribe to our channel or check out one of these videos here. Thank you for watching. Now get back to work. Corrugate, cor corrugated. I knew it.